Hey everyone, welcome to Ripple Funnel Tuesday, where I'll be analyzing a marketing funnel starting from the ad copy and the offer down to the landing pages once you've clicked through those ads. And finally, once you've claimed the offer by filling in a form, what were the automations that you received from that company? Today, I'll be talking about Fisher Investments. It is a financial institution and the finance world is quite challenging these days with funnels, email marketing and opt-ins due to so much noise and so much spam. So let's see how Fisher Investments did. The first thing is the ad, which is I found, which I found on LinkedIn. And that seems to be the best target audience for them. They're going after professionals with a little higher income or an established portfolio of over 500K. This is the ad and I'm gonna cover the flow of the LinkedIn ad for you. You can see the graphic is very solid in my opinion because it's clear title and the offer is also listed right here. You're downloading a guide to retirement and how you can generate wealth from your portfolio. So I really like the clarity in ads because a lot of times companies don't do well by describing what the offer is. Here you can see it, it's nice and clear, the graphic is clean and the overlay on the banner itself is also very, uh, very neat. Once I click on the ad, and this is something that happens within the LinkedIn, we are using their own forms or they are using their built-in ad forms. You can see it pre-populated through LinkedIn, so that's a plus, but they also added a couple of qualifying questions, which I do recommend, especially that there's a trade-off for download. If you are giving people an article you've spent a lot of time building, I think you can afford to add a couple of qualifying questions. These qualifying questions can certainly help companies identify who is a good fit, a good lead, or somebody they should follow on in the future. Now, once I've filled out the form, you can see the thank you message. I'm still on LinkedIn at this point, and there's an option to download here. So again, there's an ad, there's a built-in form on, this, on LinkedIn, and a thank you on LinkedIn. I'll be covering the landing page in a second, but I wanna just you know, show you the URL they use. There is no attribution whatsoever, no UTM uh, tagging. I do recommend using UTM tagging guys to see or identify the source of the leads. I do know that there probably is some conversion pixel on the thank you page, but you can also append some UTMs here. There's nothing appended to the link. All right, let's look at the landing page. Couple of important elements, no navigation. The contact us and the email are actually hyperlinked directly to the client. So contact us is trying to open Skype and the email will open my Gmail. So I'm still on this page. Now on the right side, the one thing that I wasn't a big fan on is the Investment Insights Center and want to learn more, visit our homepage. I wouldn't give them more options, but to either download and perhaps at this stage is to speak to a consultant or speak to an advisor. I can't afford to have this here, maybe an embedded calendar of some sort, be beside download my guide. I'm not a fan of having multiple CTAs, but perhaps people seeing that they could speak directly with a consultant, even though they, they are downloading the guide today, it could be some added benefits in the future. Now below is a description of what you're getting about Fisher Investments and how you can reach them. Note there is no social proof, no Q and A's or anything like that. They kept it simple. I think they could afford to have added a little bit more personality to it, but overall the main elements are, uh, are, are there. I want to show you a little bit the download that I received. Now it is a very solid article, well put and formatted. Some companies, what they do on the final slide is they give them access to an additional resource they could download. They didn't do this here, but I do recommend it just to kind of keep people interested. Although you're giving them a lot in this resource, but if you've invested in writing additional content, videos, or even a link to the calendar, you can take a snapshot of your calendar, put it here and hyperlink it over back to you so people can book you. So do something on the last page. Don't leave it you know, a little bit general for them to uh, take action. All right, let's look at the emails. And I know this was an opt-in through LinkedIn, 
But that does not mean that you cannot get those emails channeled back to you through Zapier or some other connectors. Now, the one thing that I noticed is that the, I did not receive any email and I was kind of bumped out because of this. Primarily here you see there's a Nathan Fisher that was sent. This is a cold email sent to me on June 9th. This is not what they, their follow one was about. And it is the same company. They targeted me, however, I believe through a cold email in the past. So no emails whatsoever came through. A big mistake. They could have sent me some sort of an email sequence every couple of days or additional resources so I can get more deeper and learn about their product that they're offering. So this is it. I give this funnel a five primarily because there's missing automation behind the scenes and the landing page was missing a little personality. All these scores are just my own personal judgment, guys. I highly you know, encourage you uh, just kind of understand how the landscape works to build a solid funnel end to end. You have to leverage all three. It's a solid ad, a great landing page flow, uh, and um, also a great automation follow-ons. Credits to the team at Fisher for putting this together. If you like this uh, funnel analysis, please like, share, or comment. I do these once a week, and I hope you found them helpful. Thank you.